Alright guys, great news. I just bought this RM20 shoe rack from Tesco. So what am I going to build? Well, you guess it. It's in the title above. So I'll catch you guys right after this. Okay, so this is a shoe rack. What am I going to build? It will be a shoe rack mounted rig. As uh, some people have asked, how do we build a mining rig? So this is the bare basic for it, which I think is good. And well, you wouldn't want to build a computer like this. I mean, if you have a computer already and you just want to use the graphics card for mining, sure, go ahead. But to set up a whole system like this, well, the casing is going to cost you a few hundred RM and you, well, you, you can just fit two cards. You want to put six cards, well, you have problem to uh, for fitting the risers and everything else. So that is where this one comes in. More details? Well, let's have a look right now. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes since I um, started assembling and well, this, uh, I would say this casing is done. So, see, it's a shoe rack. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the power supply here, motherboard here, and the graphics card somewhere around. So stay on and we'll have a look at what it's uh, like. So this rig, well, you just have to make sure it's uh, sufficiently tight. You know, all the um, areas, you don't want it to be wobbly. That aside, as long as it doesn't have to be perfect, and as long as it's uh, standing, it's all good. Alright, now as you can see, the rig is missing because I want to introduce to you the motherboard. So over here, this model here is the ASRock, ASRock H81 Pro BTC. I bought this back in um, 2014, I would say, and yep, it's 2014. I've been using it since 2014 uh, as a, for my mining operation, um, of which I stopped in 2014 itself. Um, long story behind, behind that. So this one is current up to today was uh, used as my HTPC uh, motherboard. Of course, I'm mean switching HTPCs around, but never mind. We'll go into that later. Um, some other videos, perhaps. Well, back to this. Now, um, for the modern day mining board, you have the the ones from the Astro, which are H110, and also there's one from Biostar. Also, both are H110 chipset. It's not the H81. It's a H110, and they behave the same. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, six PCIe slots. And that is where you put the risers in for the setup. And they will have uh, additional power connectors for you to um, pump additional power in, into the, the, the board itself. RAM sticks, I'm using just one. This is a two gigs RAM, up to you how you want, you want to use. Four gigs, you have better operation in Windows and smoother and all that. But and as you can see, I have the processor pre-installed um, because uh, I'm using, I've, I've just dis dismantled, um, I was running this one, which is uh, to run it fanless. The processor I have here is the Intel Pentium G3220. So this is the board and I will have it to run um, six GPUs, but not on this setup. Um, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to do a full six GPU setup simply because I do not have well, I have six GPUs, I don't have six same GPUs and neither am I going to unplug all my GPUs just to do this. So hang in there, um, uh, the next segment is coming up shortly. Aha, uh -huh. so we are at this uh, next segment of which I'm going to talk about risers. Now these are my old risers which is short and it does not provide any power. Neither, neither does this one, it's still short huh? but it has a power connector. So what I recommend is go for the USB type. Um, what it does is this end will connect to the board over here, which is you have a look, and that is where it uh, goes in. Oops, it's the other way around. Yeah, it's in. So this is how you get it connected, and this is where you rest the graphics card. So the card goes in like this, right? So you can provide. Um, additional power on the Molex here and of course uh, don't forget to power up your GPU and that's it so this is how it runs you have this one you can um, this flat piece you can put it here or some people put it upside down which is 
okay, very creative. So, yeah, so that is pretty much the setup. As for the OS, up to you how you want to run it. You add a uh, uh, USB or hard drive. There are ways to go about Linux uh, or Windows. Um, you have to do some study on that one. For me, I use my spare SSDs or hard disks, and I run Windows because I find it easier. And I need not, not to go through the command lines or whatever things. But there are pros and cons with either ones. Uh, some people they use USB, so you save up on the storage, and well, it just run right off. There's no need to bother about the uh, SATA connection and all that. That's good, eh? And next up, power supply. All right, so now we come to the power supply. This is the Thermaltake Tough Power Grand RGB. Well, you don't need an RGB power supply for that one, but what you need is a good quality power supply such as this one, minus the RGB, so it costs less. Um, aim for higher wattage. I'd recommend at least um, 800 watt. Um, 600 watt, you can run with the GTX 1050 Ti and uh, RX 560 and such. But for the higher end cards or like um, RX 580 or GTX 1070, you definitely want at least 800, at least. Um, go for 1000 perhaps. Um, higher wattage means there's lesser stress on your power supply and it lasts longer. All right, get it? So get yourself a good power supply. And in cases where uh, you need to consider the connection, the PCIe power connection, if the power supply does not come with enough, you probably have to find a spare or you can do like what I did last time using a power supply connector of which I connect two lower, um, power, two lower wattage power supply and when you power on one, it powers on the other so both can supply the uh, energy, um, this, the, the power simultaneously. Hmm, interesting, right? Oh, some of you might be asking how much is the riser? Risers, I think it typically costs some um, RM, last I saw is about RM75. Uh, do check with your uh, nearest shop to see uh, how it is. Um, I'm not a seller and I don't know uh, how much they're selling now, but I do remember seeing it at around RM75. And make sure you get the longer connectors. Uh, USB is uh, fine, but for if you're, you have no choice but having this type, then make sure it's, uh, I, to what I remember, there's a 60cm type. Alright, um, that's it now and uh, we'll go to the next segment of which we'll look at the setup. And so finally we are here, a rig, fully set up minus the cable connections because I don't want the clutter when I'm doing this video. So basically over here, the power supply, over here is the motherboard and up here, see, this is the GPU. So you're going to have stacks of them like over here and along, you can have six of them on top or whichever, it depends on your rack size really. I would imagine that you have six of them right at the top here. And then uh, for your storage, it could be somewhere around this side or whichever. So this is pretty much the basic mining rig. As for the pricing, a typical board like this costs about uh, 600. Then I've, I've, I saw uh, one that's uh, for AMD board, um, AMD version with uh, the 6 PCIe that's uh, around RM400. Do check that out. Then coolers, you can just use the stock cooler. Processor is usually about RM. RM2 to 300, 300 range, power supply, um, I recommend at least an 800 watt, so budget yourself 1000 watts, so 1000 1, watts, did I say 1000 watts, I mean 1000 RM, so 1000 RM for this one, and this area, another around 1000 or so, plus if you're using hard disk and all that, maybe an uh, RM200 for cheapest hard disk or whatever, um, you want to use USB, it will help uh, drive, you will help you cut the cost, so this alone costs around probably 2,000 or more, depending on where you source the, the, the components and such, I'm not counting the risers. It rises, uh, rises at about 75, let's say it's 80 each, um, times six is uh, quite a fair bit, a few hundred already. Uh -huh. uh, then then um, talking about the GPUs, um, I recommend going for at least a GTX 1060, six gigs. So, Current market price is uh, quite high, I believe. Right now it's a thousand two, two thousand four range, depending on which model. So you're talking about uh, about a little over seven thousand. If you can go GTX ten seventy, that's good. RX five eighty, of course, is supposedly the best, but good luck in finding them. Same with RX five seventy and five sixty. So do budget yourself uh, all this, considering everything. 
I think a healthy budget would be RM15,000. Sure, you can get it. You probably can get the whole setup for uh, less than less than 10,000. I mean, it's 6 GTX 1050 Ti, why not? But then 6 GTX 1050 Ti is quite pointless when you can just do two, you had buy two GTX 1060 instead, right? Um, so, all right, that's it. So for those of you who want to know about the mining stuff, here it is. A simple setup using a shoe rack. And, oh, in case you're wondering what graphics card is this, this is a Zotac GTX 1060 AMP edition. Yeah, so there's no need to go for the AMP edition. In fact, the GTX 1060 Mini from Zotac will work, work just fine. Alright, so that's it for this video. I hope you find it uh, educational. Uh, for those of you who are curious of the mining setup, this is as ghetto as you get. Very basic. Um, just connect, after that, just connect all the power to whatever thing you power on. It's just like any other PC. Only difference is that you need the riser cable to be connected to all these uh, connection points and run all of them. Good luck. All the best to you guys who are um, going into this GPU mining game. Alright, so that's it for this video. I hope it has been educational for all of you. Do remember to share this video to your friends, family, loved ones and everything on social media. It will be very helpful, um, very meaningful to me as well as I made effort to do all this. And I hope to get uh, that you guys do continue your support for me in this channel. And alright, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my upcoming videos. Bye-bye.